Hey everyone, here's a question on square and square root. So the question is, find the smallest number by which 12,150 must be multiplied so that the product is perfect square. So this number is not a perfect square. We have to make it perfect square by multiplying with the smallest number. To do this, we're going to find out the prime factors of this number. I'm going to use a division method. Divide this number with prime numbers. And uh, this number is an even number, so I'm going to divide this with 2. So you can divide here itself or you can divide separately and write down the answer. So 2, 6 are 12. 1 doesn't go, so 2, 0 is a 0. Now take 15. 2, 7 is a 14. 1 is a remainder, that makes the number 10. 2, 5 is a 10. Again this number, like it's an odd number, it goes in 3. So we're going to divide this number with 3. 3, 2 is a 6. 0 doesn't go. 3, 0 is a 0. We have 7, so 3, 2 is a 6. 1 is a remainder. It's 15, so 3, 5 is a 15. Again, it's odd, like it goes in 3, we can divide this with 3. So 3, and we have a 20, we're going to take 20 here. 3, 6 are 18, 2 is a remainder, we got 22. 3, 7 is a 21, 1 is a remainder, that makes a number 15. 3, 5 is a 15. We got 675, it again goes in 3. 3, 2 is a 6, again 3 to 6, 1 is a remainder, that makes a number 15. 3, 5 is a 15. We have a 225, it still goes in 3. 3, 7 is a 21, 1 is a remainder, that makes the number 15. 3, 5 is a 15. We got 75. This goes again in 3. 3, 2 is a 6. 1 is a remainder. That makes the number 15. 3, 5 is a 15. We got 25. 5, 5 is a 25. And the last 5 ones are 5. So, before we go ahead, I just want to explain you about this book. So, it's a R.D. Sharma. You might have heard about this book. It's really good book for reference and uh, I see a lot of comments like uh, which book I'm referring. So this is a book which I usually refer to get a questions and it has a many different type of questions and concepts I explain really well. If you want to practice a uh, different questions apart from your textbook, you can follow this book. Now let's come back to the question. We're going to solve uh, the question again. Even this question I have taken it from the RT Sharma. It's there in the practice type of questions. Now let's get back to the answer here. So here, so far, we have done the prime factorization. I'm going to just rewrite the, all the factors what we got. So 12,150 is equal to, I don't know all the factors you got here. It's 2 into, so we have got 3, lot of 3's here. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 3's we got, so 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 3 and then 5 into 5. Now, if the number is perfect square number, the prime factors what you got will always be in a pair. So let us pair the factors here. You can see this is this 3 is forming a 1 pair, this 3 is also forming a pair and the 5 is forming a pair. You can see that there is a 1, 2 and 1, 3 left out which are not paired up. Now the smallest number to be multiplied is 2 and 3. If there is another 2 and another 3, then, then this 2 and 3 will pair up and the number will become perfect square. So we have to multiply here with 2 and 3 so that the numbers will pair up and the number will become perfect square. So smallest number to be multiplied here will be 2 into 3 which is nothing but 6. So 2 3 is a 6. So 6 is the smallest number to be multiplied. So it's a very simple concept. We have to just look for the factors which are not paired. And those are those will be the numbers. You just multi if there's a single number, so that will be the one number which has to be multiplied. If there are two numbers like here 2 and 3 we have, so multiply them. 2 3 is a 6. So 6 will be the smallest number to be multiplied. So I hope this question is clear. Now, in case you have other question or doubt, you can drop a comment. Thank you so much for watching.